Hello everyone and welcome back to Fableheim and our legendary Zhong Druer playthrough here in Total War Three Kingdoms, The Mandate of Heaven. Now I was been thinking about what I wanted to name this series, because each one I come up with a little cutesy name, you know, like our Liu Hong campaign was the benevolent tyrant. Our theme was that we were indeed a tyrant, but we were benevolent at times, you know, to people that we liked. And Originally, I was like, well, I'll just call it Legendary Zhong Zhe. It gets the point across, and he's kind of legendary, you know? Also, we just got a ton of money. Feels good. Um, <laughs> and then I was like, well, Heaven hear our fury. one of Zhong Zhe's titles, his self-proclaimed title, by the way, was Great Teacher. And there's an old anime. I'm, I'm dating myself here. Called Great Teacher Onizaku. Onizuka? Only something. And, well, I like that reference. So I think it's going to be called Great Teacher Zhong Zhu. Also, because we got a lot of money, I'm dumping some money. But uh, we need, we're kind of screwed. <laughs> we need to keep moving forward. I can't increase taxes at my current rank. I don't remember which rank it is where you can do that. You can have this clay axe, sure. But uh, it's not what we're at. And my brothers seem to have no concern for what's happening to me, which is being wrecked by Liu Bei and Zhang Yan. And we've kind of just accepted that it's going to happen and have decided to move on with our lives. Han Sui declared we're on Begong Bo Yu. Yeah. Our research is complete. We are going to destroy his siege stuff because we don't want him to do that. I need this tray port, and I need to kill her. It is our time to be and I greatly dislike making this choice. <sighs> if only my brothers could help me, that would be Heaven great. Blesses our mandate. We are in a um, an alliance, but let them go and repent. Yeah, go and repent. The blue sky must fall. Gather your strength. Spoiler alert. The blue sky falling is a lot harder than it seems. Okay. So we picked up these guys, and we also got... This was what we wanted for now? Yeah. So, let's start with other reforms. Namely, I want food production. Because we're going to be... We're about to be screwed. I don't know where that is, though. I have no idea. Peasant train come. It's probably over here somewhere. Wait a minute. Why does industry income unlock final tier? Tea and timber? Confusing. Here we go. 30% food from farming. Income from all sources. Okay, let's go over here. We'll begin on peasantry because that's where most of our money is from at the moment. And let's take a look at diplomacy. Even though I have zero faith in anything, who wants peace? You don't want peace. Okay. That's good to know. Can I, like, request your aid or something? I requested it. Who knows what's going to happen? I could... Wait a minute. What? You have 14 food? Okay, what if I just give you... I think I can hold here the city. I don't think I can hold this horse pasture. So if I give you the horse pasture, which I'm about to lose, here you go. Will you give me food? Yeah, great. Beautiful. And then money too, because you have way more than I do. Okay, let's just type in a number. What are we thinking? 400? No, not 400. <laughs> not 400 at all. Let's drop that down to five. Five should be sufficient. Yes. Now this is what I call using your brain. This is a bring, a bring, a big brain move. There we go. Five food and 325 gold per turn. You can have that, which you're about to lose. Thanks, bro. <laughs> 
Let's see how this fight actually goes. Guan Yu's back. Towards destiny. Yeah, I was about to say, this is probably really bad. It is. I don't have a good way of stopping Guan Yu with this group. Okay, well. I'll have to try and make him fight. Uh, uh, uh. I requested aid against Zhong Yan, but I don't actually think he accepted it. Who knows? I don't know. The world may never know. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh, spaghetti o. Now you guys see why we're cowering in the right hand corner. Because literally everyone is coming for us from the left. I mean, the west. The eastern corner is where we are. You're just going to ignore. Okay. Fine. Jammu has been succeeded. Lady Liu has been destroyed. Why are you doing this path? Hello? Am I literally be with righteousness? Get out of my way. Let I was being blocked. Rejoice in our victory. If I captured him, I'm gonna kill him for being rude. Okay. Let them go. They know Only not their folly. Purges sickness. There we go. There we go. We're clear. The way is clear. Our just deed was cut off. We must show them the way. We have a rare talent. Oh. Wonderful. This is kind of messing up my desire for... Actually, no. For symmetry, but... Nay. I think in a perfect world we have four cav. But that kind of leads us a little depleted on the front line. And by a little... I mean a lot. I don't actually know who's a better combatant. 34, 99, 25. Is that attack rate? I think the 99. 34, 25, 8. 26, 32, 2. So it's definitely the redeemed outlaws. But I think the Spearman gang are more... Nope. It's the Redeemed Outlaws. They're better in, like, every conceivable way. Except, you know, the Pokey Spears have Anti-Large. Or whatever it's called, Anti-Cav. Huang Xiao is also going to be sacrificed for the cause. You know what would be funny? I've heard people do this in... The Hurry campaign in the standard standard Three Kingdoms timeline, where they basically just abandon their home territory. He begins in Runan. Bye, Zhang'an. He begins in Runan in that uh, time. But I've heard people... Basically... Who is this right? Yingjin. Basically, so Runan is here-ish. Right here. Runan. This is where Hurry begins. I've seen people... And heard of people abandoning Runan because, you know, surrounded by enemies. And going south and beginning to just claim all this unclaimed territory. It's very expensive, but it's like the safest start playing as Haryi. I guess I'm going to the Toolmaker first. As one, we move. For money? Because look at our food income. We're fine. Solely because of our brother. <laughs> For no other reason. Because we abused our brother. I think that was like a 300 IQ save right there. I'm pretty proud of it. Alliance war against Shang Yan. Go at it. Have fun. With pleasure. Take him out. I don't care. Just leave me alone. Well. That looked like an enemy we're going to have to turn around for. Also, somehow, some way, Gong Du tends to do really well in um, 
this timeline. The Alliance of Zhang Liang. It's my alliance, bro. Declare war on Zhang Yan. Stone Archer. Ambush. Liu Biao. Wow. See, Gongyu starts over here, and he just has a jolly good time. He was one of the last opponents alive in our Liu Hong campaign. I would like this, please. Heaven guided our weapons. Guided more than our weapons, honestly. No longer will corruption reign. Well, you say that now. Wow, level three toolmaker already. Legendary AI is so cheaty. Okay, what do we want? We probably want opportunism. We have only melee with you. Give okay, my movement range own army. We definitely want opportunism, but we'll take this first. For maximum movement range. Now remember, the yellow turbans are kind of funky in that they have talents that just give global increases. Like inspiration, which is plus 6% income from commerce, just globally. So it is worthwhile to recruit, recruit people and level them up and stuff. But uh, presently, our satisfaction is not so great. We need to build more inns, give more research, play the video game, you know. A valiant... Ooh. We're going to fight this. If we can hold on to this city, that's a big deal. All right, Guan Hai. Please show me how good legendary AI are. Wouldn't it be rude if the AI for me was worse than the AI for Liu Bei? Like, I get Liu Bei is like a legendary person, but we should have special AI too. Oh yeah, they're coming into the city. Oh, no, the city's in the background. I'm coming from the city. That makes sense. All right. Let's go ahead and fast forward real quick. Our reinforcements on the field. Yeah, they sure are. And they're going to be running for a while. I will fast forward once we get in our group. But uh, until then, you know what? Let's just make one giant line. All right, go. Oh, you need to be in that as well. Go. And we want all of our archers here. Oh, are they coming to me? They sure are. Gorgeous. They're not as dumb as I thought they were. Yes, let's team up. Alright, because we're teaming up, I will go ahead and skip forward by the power of editing. Okay, my ally began moving, and because I'm the best ally, I'm moving with him. Which is kind of complicated, but... They probably move forward because they have treb a treb. We're going to shut down the crossbows. And by shut down, I mean shoot them down. Also, we need to... I probably should have tried to brace for this. But, um... We need to poke down, you know, Guan Yu and stuff. Poke down the really terrifying people, so... We put our G defectors here to the Pokey Boys. If possible, we also want to poke down uh, Liu Bei, if we can. I'm trying to shoot down the crossbows because I don't like being shot. We can probably move on because we're poking these down. We are slowly killing them. I think I'm going to shoot in this blob here. Guan Yu is just terrifying. He is called the God of War for a reason. So we're going to keep pressuring here. Our yellow sword tur sir turban. Yellow turban captain is fine. He's having fun. We're shooting in this blob. These guys don't have shields. We're trying to surround here, but it's being interfered with by good old Guan Yu. By good ol', I mean Guan Yu. Okay, he's just shattering us. Uh, please guard. 
We also have the Treb still firing, which is unfortunate. I need to get my ally to get over here with me and help. You guys are back. Come back. Guan Yu's just having a good old jolly time here. He is pretty low. This is going to come down to the very bitter end, isn't it? I think Liu Bei is a worse combatant, even though he has pretty sick weapons. We're wavering. He's so far away. They're general. Which I think is the only leadership we have. The fact that he's so far away is pretty annoying. Turn around. Might as well punch up Liu Bei while we can. What's excellent? We're kind of losing. I don't know if you noticed. Just keep shooting. It'll be fine. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, we're getting wrecked here. We might be healthy enough to hold in the city, but I don't think so. Because they are sapping, we saw. Which is destroying our walls. Slowly but surely. The heck? It's frowning at me. I've never seen that before. Yeah, we've lost this. I have, like, nothing left. Just these guys. Which I don't think can break. So. Yep, that's it. That's all she wrote. One high is gonna break here in a minute, and that is our close defeat. Well, it was even worse than what the AI said. A Valiant defeat would have at least killed a few things, I think. Maybe I should have just taken the delegation. I don't know. He might retreat from the walls. He might not. Yeah, we lost Tenzio. It would have been great if you were helping us on the front line. Go on high. That would have been really grand. Liu Bei is so low, but he's still fighting. <laughs> Off with your head. Should I be laughing when Yellow Turban Rebellions die? Probably not, but I will be. Why are you following me? That's an enemy Yellow Turban Rebellion. Confusing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the Empire of Liu Hong declared war on Kong Rong. There's been a faction succession in the rebellion, and we have concluded some research. What are these? Something we're researching. Are you in my way now? No. Okay, good. Only faith purges sickness. What am I looking at here? Okay. So basically we just wait until they come at us. And I can probably reach them before they really Strike consider this. Now it's a decisive defeat. He might just wait until the city concedes. It's only one turn away. I cannot. Not... Yeah, I want to declare war on you. <laughs> I mean, we're already at war with them, so maybe I can't. Hey, Zhang Liang. Can you, you know, go here, maybe? No, help out a little bit. Just a tiny bit. I know you're kind of distracted. Actually, maybe I shouldn't do that. That's Zheng Liang. No, it's Zheng Bao. I'll cancel Zheng Bao's. Remove target, okay. Because Zhang Bao's kind of busy. Having a jolly old time. Hi. Oh. You don't feel like doing anything else? He's not a fan. But he's not not a fan. You know? Here in faith. Doesn't like us, but doesn't hate us.
I like how he's defending that one farmland with his life. Just a tiny little army. Yeah. The city surrendered. Not much I could do about that. But now we have our own little home. Heaven blesses our if I had any money whatsoever. Well, if I had excess money, I'll say. We could, uh... We could bring our capital city here. But... Excess money is not a thing we possess at the moment. Mostly because I'm spending it all on units, but that... You know, minor detail. Nice. Okay. Now we turn around. Harden your hearts. Goodbye. Those who do not bend to authority will break upon it. And take that out of resolve. I'll release you. Them. Why not? Set them loose. They are no threat. That's the real reason. They're no threat. Ooh, military great axe. Who wants this, Order actually? Now I can upgrade the town. Calculated. You can use this. Do you want to? Probably. That's a big upgrade. Alright. We move forward. We march onward. To glory. Wait, it says it hasn't surrendered yet. For China. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe it would surrender on his turn. But hey, we got rid of him. So now, when we destroy Liu Yu, Her Yi will join us. Good old Her Yi. So, we might go do that. Actually, can I get you to chase him down? Hold on, that would be genius. Zheng Bao declared war on Kung Rong. That didn't take very long. Faction Regency, Ding Yuan Sen Peace with Zhang Yan, a succession of brothers in arms between Ma Yuan Yi and Liang, Zhong Ning. No idea who they are. But Zhang Zhu is now a ascetic. Which I think is like Madness. a monk thing. Hey, you. Kill him. Thanks. I'd appreciate that. Okay, now we run. Do we enter the water? I guess it's just the question is, do we want to do this or do we want to do this? Eh? We might as well crush this first. Pick up Ping Yuan. We can get the whole county or district or province or whatever it's called. The only concern would be whatever is in this fog of war that I can't see. That would be the only concern. I don't think I build... Like, I'm fully aware that I should... Should... Build a garrison here. Fully aware of that. But I don't think I'm going to. Like, if I were really following my heart of hearts, I would build a house of scrolls. But not even I am that greedy. I'm pretty close. But not that greedy. If I want to just boost income, trade income here. Or commerce income. Not possible. Whatever. Ooh, look at that. Saved. Barely. I am on legendary though, so. If you're playing on legendary, the smart thing to do is to build garrisons in every city. Why are you requesting my assistance? What am I going to do against Kong Rong? Sure, whatever. <laughs> Huang Xiao likes it, but Huang Xiao's probably not long for this world, honestly. Oh, here's Liu Biao now. 
at one point in time, I remember that we, or the Han, was less aggressive. Liu Yu is going to be at like 1 HP, so this tiny group should be able to crush him. Zheng Bao requested my aid, and we gave him, and now Kong Rong is dead. So I basically just used Kong Rong there as a way to make my brother like me more. That was it. Back from succession. I have no idea who that is. Master of Mystics. Fearsome adversary. Crushing morale. Allies are mobilizing. They're listening to me for once. Surprising, honestly. Okay. Build more food stuff. And that's all we can do this turn. Isn't this exciting? Presently not doing much of anything. There's no quick deals involved. Alright. Let's move on. We do have one trade slot still. But, um... No one really to trade with. My brother did take Zhang Shan back. All things considered, though, this has gone pretty well. Purge corruption. Yeah, I can't reach this. It is our time to be heard. But I mean, look at this. My brothers are expanding quite well, and even Huang Shao still alive. Like when I watched them filter about, filter, when I watched them fil faff, that's the word I'm looking for, faff about in the Liu Hong campaign, things did not go this smoothly at all. Not even a little bit. Our food production's getting low. Remember, we only have a few more turns of free food for my brother. Well, not free, we paid for it, but. Yeah. I'd like the horse pastures back, honestly. <laughs> But eh, all things in good time. Hello. Stand down. We're retreating only because I don't want to fight him with the garrison. This is an unideal situation for me. Which might have to happen anyway. Liu Hong vassalized Yuan Shao. That's a new color. I think that means we're at war with his master, but not him. Pretty sure that's what that means. Reject corruption. I cannot. This is pretty scary. Rise up. For the cause. They're going to attack me, but if I can get even one tick of attrition on them, we're pretty good to go. Enlightenment. Enlightenment. Who wants to be enlightened? Public order. We're doing really well in public order, but it's because... Presently, because of our fanaticism. Which may not remain that way very long. So I think we'll start going down this path. We will go down this path once we need the replenishment. But we want to get this available administrator positions soon. We can also increase satisfaction because everyone's kind of sort of dissatisfied at the moment. All right, let's get ready to be attacked. Actually, he can't attack me. Well, he can attack me, yeah. I was going to say, he can't attack me in Force March mode, but he can attack me in, uh, with a city. Alright, let's go. They are suffering some attrition, so. I believe. I believe in us. Kinda, sorta, not really. Who even is this, Chu Gong? I don't know. We can outrange him, but he's probably going to retreat to get to his garris his uh, reinforcements. Oh, do I? Oh. Hold on. 
if he's going to retreat, what if we do this? Greed enabled. How far can you reach? Basically the entire deployment range. Greed freaking enabled. Alright, we're gonna have to run. Let's get her done. Let's go. Yes. We want them to move forward a little bit so these guys can fire for free. More! Enemy reinforcements are arriving. At the ready. Fire! I think, yeah, they're still running. But we're kind of in position and I can kind of hit this. If I can kill this, that would be very helpful. It's already breaking. The enemy unit flees. What cowards! We're gonna put this on guard so it doesn't chase its units. Come forward a little bit. Come out here. You guys come here. Slow down so I can think. Come this way. We're doing it. We're doing it. We do have some cap coming in, which is a little concerning. Okay, we can speed up again. Look at the enemy run. Craven. We're in a great position for this. We are being shot, but let's pop. Pop. Alright. Now slow down. Go kill him. Let's go. Men have no ammunition. They cannot fire. Yeah, ammunition is a thing. Um for the yellow turbans. Because it's the veterans that do this. You know, that give stuff and they're not like strategists that are like hardcore committed to it Stand ready. Ready. can you please kill them Make ready. just obliterate him there's three of you don't want to get caught up here enemy are ha. you guys are not doing anything Hurry, let's put you two in a group get these guys to just mess around Get these two to run. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We are breaking him slowly. You guys can join the line. I don't want to really get this dragged out. Let's turn around. See if we can hunt this. There we go. Oh, he was out of range. That's pretty fine. That basically just immobilizes everything. Kill the strategists. Keep shooting to this. This is just a giant archer blob. Where are my other ones? I'm not quite sure why they're so spread out like this, but they are. Oh. Turn around and help. She can probably shoot these. This has become a huge cluster. Rather quickly. Turn around, kill her. I need to shut down these billions of archers just standing all together. And you need to not fight that. Alright. They're dying slowly. They don't like being shot. Shocker. Tiger and Leopard Calf. Isn't that... Tonsong? I like that Sansa. Why are you dismounted? Hello? <laughs> Zhong Zhu is the only one on his horse still. What happened? I'm confused. Actually, go break that. Okay, well, let's move, everyone, please. Go contribute to this fight. What I was trying to say earlier is I don't want this to be a huge spread out fight like it currently has become. But, you know, we don't always get what we want. 
trying to get Zhang Zhui to capture this lady, but I don't think he'll be able to. Wait, she's dismounted as well. No, she's not. She's just slow. Which is fair, you know? Kind of. Kind of fair. We're shooting him down. We're crushing them. We're doing the thing. She got away as well. I think she's getting away. We're kind of just trying to break the last of the... Please let these guys leave. They're like sticking to me like glue. But we should be doing swell here. Crush her. Break her. The enemy warriors are running. Yes. Ah. Don't let her get away. Crap. Oh well. One step closer to a victory. We do definitely want to clear this out if we can. Like, we're gonna have to kill a lot of people. These guys are all just wavering and not breaking. Well not wavering, but um broken, not shattered, that's the term. If they were shattered, they had these, like, white flags here. Where they're definitely, most certainly not coming back. If they're broken, they're flashing red, which means they might come back. The men are out of ammunition. Well, then fight like everyone else. Okay, well, I'm going to try and kill as much as I can. So that we don't have to fight as much next time. And I'll see you guys soon. Okay, there is our close victory, which is much better than what the AI thought was going to happen. I wasn't able to chase down too many things. Look at that, though. 650 kills on the Messengers of Heaven. Beautiful. I wasn't able to chase down too much because our Heaven other two people, our Ma Yuan Yi and Liang Zhang. Oh, they're in my team. Ha. Uh, because they dismounted for some reason. That's okay. We captured Hong Yang. I'm going to kill her. A corrupted limb must be swiftly removed. Just because, really. I didn't get anything for it. I just felt like it was the right thing to do. Oh my goodness. Luo Yu is running. <clears throat> now, normally I don't care. Right? We've had this happen before, where they just run from us and the faction Destroy doesn't get them. destroyed. But... We need, which one is it? We need to destroy Liu Yu to get Hara Yi. And we want Hara Yi. Oh, you have Inspiring Surge for some reason. Huh. You probably want this? Well, hmm. What's this do? Eh. We can make him a better duelist. Fatigue resistance. I mean, sure, we'll just give him more armor. Why not? All right, give me this. We strike as one blade. I was about to say, if this wasn't a decisive victory, I was going to be very disappointed. But it was. Just... Looks like her man right there. Is it? We must show them the way. A regency. No. It is her man. What up, bro? I love her man. Is he with Wang Sha? Hi hi. Can't really do anything with him though. I'm not quite sure when I have where I have to be in order to like absorb people. There are not gonna be many names that I recognize, so I apologize. It's one of the things I don't like about playing the Yellow Turban, is I don't I don't know anyone from the Yellow Turban. But I feel like we don't need more people. We have plenty. <laughs> I can't even use them all. I'm not using them all. I know that Zheng Kai is a name. I mean, obviously it's a name, but it's a... Special name? Helpful? Useful name? We get one from farming there, wow. Wow. I need to step up my food production here. I got two. Two food. Would that even give me... 
Now I'll get three food. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Liu Hong is assembling his horses. Because he's a cheater. Liu Biao is besieging the Yura farmland, which is strange. Usually you don't besiege farmland, but when it happens. Is that Sheng Yan? I think so. We have to force them to move, unfortunately, because I can't do anything else. Oh. Thanks for the city. Appreciate it. Absolutely free city. And I nabbed it before my brother could. They are lost and need guidance. They are. Our food situation has recovered. Good news. Good news, everyone. Focus. Composure. We need composure first. I want focus, but we need composure. 30 ammunition is not bad. Are we looking... What's the better archers? Archer defectors. Paltry armor. That doesn't sound good at all. Fervent defenders. The land's chosen. Wow. That's quite the name. So I guess they're the elite archers. Quote, end quote. Okay. Seems fine. All right. Probably don't have any diplomacy that I can conduct. Oh, yeah. And these guys, I do like that these guys just get new armor as they level up. It is pretty cool. I like that a lot. I love that, like, things that evolve as you play better. As you do the right thing. In any game, really. It doesn't matter what the game is. Our fervor is actually staying pretty high. Or well, zeal, excuse me. We still don't have anything unlocked here. We will have administrators soon. Well, local leaders. We'll have that soon TM. Thanks for getting rid of that, bud. You've been a big... Uh-oh. Uh ruh -ruh. I think I have to go kill Liu Bei. I think Zhong Fei's already dead. Wait, what just happened? Blood runs thicker. Liu Bu, a warrior of a rapidly growing reputation. It says growly reputation. I think that's a typo. Has decided that his current master is not worthy of his service. Tempted by offers of wealth and glory, he gifts their head and lands to Dong Zhuo. Oh. Interesting. So Liu Bu is on the field with Big Daddy Dong. He's already over here. Uh, I'm screaming. I cannot. Tao Ying is back. No. Impossible. Also probably pretty upset at us, you know, for killing his dad. Eh. <laughs> Should probably go punch Yuan Shao becomes, before he becomes a problem. Actually, we should probably go this way before this becomes a real big problem. Purge corruption. Let's see where, where they go. Is their doom. That's their doom? I wouldn't have pictured that. We're slowly making money. Slowly, but surely. I think we're going to do one more turn. One more. I'm going to turn around to deal with Tao Ying. He seems to be really mad about that whole, you know, killing your father thing. Which kind of makes sense. I don't blame him. I would really appreciate it, though, if my brothers, you know, turned around and helped... They seem to be going with the burned 
the Scorched Earth strategy, excuse me, that's what it's called, which um, is really popular, well, was really popular with the Russian Empire, where it, you, uh, it just abandoned your lands. You burn everything. Rise up. Do I walk into this ambush? It's like right here. I don't even remember how big it was. No, I don't. That sounds dumb. I mean, it sounds fun, but also dumb. I need to get in range, which is here. Marching. We're baiting Tao Ying to come at us. Okay. And of course, Liu Bei is coming. No. Sometime soon. Ish. Uh, can I do anything here? Anything? No. Okay. That's fine. Everything's fine. We're going to end here with this autosave. So, thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed episode two of the legendary Zhongzhu campaign, also known as Great Teacher Zhongzhu. We have made a lot of progress, actually. Did Liu Biao attack you on show? Or was that my brother that attacked him? I can't tell. But things are going better than I thought they would be thus far. And uh, I hope that you look forward to the continuation as we hopefully, 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 finally drive Liu Bei out of our lands, crush him before Guan Yu gets too terrifying. We also have Zhang Yan to deal with still. And Big Daddy Dong will soon be encroaching. And we're going to have to somehow deal with Liu Bu. Oh, joy. <laughs>